As you guys will be well aware by now, there's a lot of accessories in Royal High. And by a lot of accessories, we mean a heck of a lot of accessories. But there's one particular set of accessories or category of accessories people have desperately wanted to see in the game for quite some time. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some incredible concepts for some pride accessories for the game that I think are absolutely beautiful and you guys will be blown away by. The original creator of these accessories previously made some versions of this in the past and these newer ones are just absolutely beautiful and the renders are so incredible all based on an original design by Wemizan. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is V and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course, don't forget to use Stacker B when buying Robux or Premium. We are joined today by Iris and James. Hello everyone. Oh, you Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, tell me about your outfits today. Are you dressing for Halloween? Is this your Halloween outfit, Iris? Yes. This well, I have two Halloween outfits right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming you'll be doing something new when the update comes out if there's a new set. Yes, definitely. What about you, James? <laughs> of course. Is this your, you're using this accessories is... from last year, I see. Yeah. Yep, this is one of my last year outfits. I see it. Call me bobbering over there, right? Yeah. The funny thing yeah. is, I, I'm not even using any Halloween parts except for obviously the. Yeah, but you when know, you're dressed the, like that, it's fairly obvious what you're aiming for, right? Yeah. And then yeah, I over course. here, of course, I'm dressing for Halloween because I'm using the new skirt, which I think looks really good. And I really like this hair by Noah. And of course, Dolly's here and she's evil. So, you know, it works pretty well. So today, you guys, <laughs> we're going to be checking out some absolutely gorgeous concept ideas by Juan, who actually rendered some new pride accessory ideas based on original concepts by Wemizat. Now, we have seen some of these in the past, but I've never had the opportunity to go through in a video and show each of the individual pieces. And I'm personally really blown away by them. And I have a feeling that Iris and Jay are going to really like them too, so I thought we could check them out together. Let's have a look. So as you can see, Juan tweeted and said, Pride Accessory Collections, concept for Royal High. We colours and close-ups under the thread. Now, before we have a look at the actual items themselves, I just want to acknowledge the original concept designer, which he did obviously link in the bottom of the thread as well. As you can see, Wem originally tweeted and said, Simple Pride Pins, honestly, for any game that wants it. I made these all toggleable and colourable to make sure everybody has a chance to represent themselves and to maximise inclusivity as best as I can. Happy Pride. This original concept was back in July, I believe. So it's very exciting, you guys. Check this out. These are the original concepts by Wem. As you can see, it says pride pins. Number of stripes is toggleable. All stripes are colorable. Toggles from zero to eight stripes. Free to get year round in one of the One Love buildings inside the game. So as you guys know, the One Love building is inside of Diamond Beach. And you can have one pair player. So this was the original idea of having a pin that you could recolor and add the stripes to in order to customize it based specifically on what you want to represent or who you are and how you want to be represented. What do you guys think to this concept? I like really that. Cute. I have seen some things similar to that for the Roblox avatar, so that would be great to have it actually in-game. Plus the customizability yeah. as well, I've been able to add your own stripes mm -hmm. and colors, I think is really, really cool. So let's have a look at how Juan created designs based on this original concept. As you can see, this is the first creation that Juan rendered. As you can see, it says Pride Bracelets Collection. And the idea here is similar to the writer's bracelet inside of Royal High. It would have individual charms with each of the options. There's flags, there's hats, and then obviously there's a mixed one with flags and hats at the same time, which again would be using the pin concept that Wem created, where you can recolor and add the individual stripes yourself. And I don't know about you guys, but I think bracelets with charms on are something that a lot of people would really like if they're not writers, because obviously the writer's bracelet that is gorgeous, but it really is the only option you can get to have an actual charm bracelet that looks as cute as these. What do you guys think to these? Yeah, definitely want that right now. I like it. Can we add it to the game right now? Please. I think we do need it. I think that the devs need to see I, this, and we need this in the game. I think a fun idea with that would be to have like a pride event where you have to collect a bunch of different amounts of charms, and then each charm you collect gets added to the bracelet, and then each that one would be you so customize cool. how you want. That would be so cool. I would love that. I'd like, have to find the rainbow to put inside it too. And I'll, I'll pick up the colors that you can add to each of the things to create your own mm -hmm. little charms. That would be so cool. Now, check out this. This was another option that Juan created as well. There are necklaces that Juan made Ooh. too. So these oh, are gosh. pride necklace collections. So these are, again, intended to be like charm bracelets, but charm necklaces instead. And you will be able to customize the inside with your own system for how you want the stripes to be, how you want it to look, and what you want it to be like. Again, there's a hat option and a flag option. And I think that this is even more beautiful. The reason why I like it 
into even more is because bracelets tend to float off your arms because every arm in Royal High is different shaped, right? Yeah. So necklaces, while they do float more on certain bodices, I think they're just a bit easier to get them to naturally fit, you know? Yeah, I certainly do use a necklace with most bodices I normally wear. I mean, it's the one I'm wearing. It's literally just the half of the ocean necklace. Mm -hmm. So I will definitely welcome a pride to him necklace. Now, I am actually wearing a necklace right now, but it's because it's part of the bodice. Normally, I will put a necklace of some sort on, but because of the issue that I was experiencing right now, as you can see, where ne necklace accessories float off your skin and on your bodice, I actually prefer to either wear ones that are part of the bodice like this, or I wear the chirka if it doesn't have one. I think James is part of the bodice too, as you can see, so it's like flat down. Yeah, but I normally have the, um, what, the friendship necklace thingy. It yeah. makes a little heart. That's a nice one as well. I think the reason why I prefer the bodice ones, like I said, is flat down and it's shaped through the bodice. But if I can't have a necklace that's shaped to the bodice, like maybe the bodice doesn't have one or I want to add one, I usually go for the diamond, like, like a little choker, like the charm on the front, just because it's more likely to fit around the neck easily. And if it doesn't fit, you can't really tell because it's covering the whole area. So that's usually what I go for. Now, Juan also showed an actual close-up of the pins. So these are the pins that were designed, obviously, originally by Wem. So obviously, this would be that you'd be able to pin them onto your shirt, onto your bodice, onto whatever you want, maybe your bag, maybe even inside your lockers or your backpack in the new school. That would be a really cool idea. Oh, that would idea. be cool. Um, so as you can see, this is Pride mm -hmm. Pins Collection, and I think that would be really cool. I love that they're gold, by the way, like the actual pins themselves. I'm sure they'd be recolorable, yeah. but I do love that they look gold. And also, I do want to point out that Juan is really good with the edits. I love all of these like rainbow colors and stuff in the background with the like, black background. It all looks so pretty, and I really, really, really like it. I'd love to be able to have pins in the game, similar to how this jacket came with pins on it. It would be fun to be able to, like, customize each outfit like pins in different locations on it imagine if it was similar to, like stickers maybe able to like put pins like the journal stickers but pins instead or maybe they could even actually make the journal stickers able to be transferred onto the body as pins that would be really yeah really that cool. would be a good idea i would really like it as you guys can see these lgbt color options here so there's the various different flags obviously there's a lot more than this you'll be able to really customize it to your own devices however you want to but you can see the options here are basically endless you'll be able to really make it how you want it to be which I think is really, really unique. So as you guys can see, a nice close-up here of the beautiful mixed charm bracelet with the hats and the flags. I just think it's gorgeous. I think people would love this, and I 100% would love to see something like this in the game. Now, currently, we do have the proud sticker pack, so we do have some pride things, and obviously, we have the one world building, but it would be nice if we could have an actual accessory in the game to represent it as well. I mean, a lot of us have had a go at making pride outfits during pride month, but usually, obviously, that just requires recolouring the outfit that you're actually wearing already into pride colours. It would be nice if we could actually have some accessories that are specifically focused on pride related things. I assume you guys would think that would be a really good idea too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see pride related items like these. I think it would be really, really cool to have them. And I really appreciate all of you guys watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Please go and support both Wem and Juan on Twitter. Obviously go follow them, go support their works. And thank you so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell and use that code and buying Robux or Premium. Check out Jane's and Iris's channels. Um, James is actively posting a lot of varied Roblox content at the moment, right? So you should definitely yeah. go and check that out. I think there was a video that made James cry recently. Was that right? <laughs> yeah, it almost made me pee myself. That was it. That was the title. Yeah, because it oh, was wow. And then Iris, I believe, is working on streaming again soon yes 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 i am so you should go follow her on twitch if you would like to i'll leave a link down below thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy um do all the things i said before okay bye hey bye. Bye.